Yes, we're finally talking about Trevenant. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, but uh, the time has not been there, and um, Gorgai's got a lot better this generation. Trevenant did that look to be a lot better. Then the Hall of Alma kicked off, and did just there is no reason for holding us off anymore. It is absolutely phenomenal, this generation. While somewhat forgettable, it is, all the things considered, phenomenal. Starting off generation 6, this was a Pokemon that was to find OU before Pokebank. Why? The knockoff was not a thing. Um, a lot of Pokemon that got knockoff were even not viable, or at least not strong enough to kind of carry out that pressure. Man. Even Bishop, for example, did not have knockoff till Pokebank was opening it up. So, Trevenant was rather free to abuse a set that is defining it this generation again. You figure four months of viability that is forgettable is kind of funny, and it comes back with that same set that is just as good as it was before. And that is the um, Harvest Citrus set. Trevenant is not bulky. It is not a bulky perk. When you look at the stat, you realize, yeah, it's not necessarily that fat. However, the thing that made it fat was that it was able to recover half of its HP and still going offensive and lead seed so this lead seed set or the harvest lead set was a great thing to have it's actually adopted a lot of sets in the future but the harvest set is always one coming back because it has a lot of high hp or a lot of high it has a lot of hp 85 base hp is quite a lot it does allow it to recover a lot of hp for each turn contrast that to 76 in its defense to get it with 82 in its special offense it's able to soak hits, while well, not reliably, thanks to the citrus, it's able to kind of come back and take another hit. And combine that with 110 attack, you realized the thing it does stings back. And you know what its signature move was? Horn Leech. Actually, Gogot had it too. I guess that was a real, <laughs> real signature move. But yeah, Trevenant had Horn Leech, which made a set of combination of Horn Leech, Leech Seed, Substitute, and Protect one of the most annoying sets out there and um, substitute basically allowed it to keep on harvesting and reliably recover hp as it turned wind the lead seed allowed it to just keep on recovering as citrus kicked in and it just kept on going back then generation six pokebags opened up and knockoff became a widespread plague and while knockoff is one of the key moves of this generation it also pretty much defined it as well, all of a sudden, the harvest set was not only was it weak to knock off, but it lost its main niche to keep on at it and actually just stall Pokemons because all of a sudden it lost its stall viability, really, and even only using Lead Seed as its recovery would protect, and it was hardly not as reliable. Push it in contrast. Let's say a Pokemon does 60% to you. No, even worse. Let's say it does 90 and you get to the red HP, you get the Citrus go in. And then while you recover that, the harvest kicks in and you get another 30% recovery. Now you're 70%. You, not only did you take a massive blow, you're now able to almost get your real health back on at it. That's quite interesting. In contrast to that, the harvest can kick in next turn if you go for protect. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so annoying. If this Pokemon is done right, it is hopelessly tough to deal with. What's the difference for this generation? Well, first and foremost, while knockoff is widespread and it's stronger than ever before thanks to both Mega Blues and Sea Crystals being gone, Pursuit is no longer in the game. It means that Trevenant, even if it comes in against a bad matchup, that match matchup cannot provide a Pursuit, keeping its main niche of recovery still active. And contrast that to getting Poltergeist and Woodhammer. I think that would have before actually, but Woodhammer and Poltergeist are two high base power moves. It is not only does it punish potential switch-ins on the switch-in, but it can actually obliterate him in, if you're lucky. And contrast that to getting sucker punch in the generation, it has a means of priority, which is something it didn't have before. It means that something like po Choice Band Set is very viable. Your Poltergeist, Woodhammer, Sucker Punch, and either Earthquake or Rock Slide before you had rock slide to even punish talent flame but you really don't need that because thanks to sucker punch you are allowing yourself to actually hurt them quite efficiently we also have a trick room set trick room set because it is one of those slower pokemon 56 base speed if you go down by minus you can actually outslow base 32 pokemons without any issues and while it isn't like enough to deal with for example slow bro you do outslow conkelder trust me that's enough 
uh, and contrast that to Poltergeist Woodhammer and Earthquake, yeah, you're good to go. While I do like Horror Leech on uh, the Trick Room Setter, I absolutely, and you're going with Life Horror, of course, the Woodhammer set does allow you to really, really break apart teams. And another good aspect is the Saltless variant with Natural Cure. Not only is it able to soak um, potential statuses, it is actually able to get out, soak hits, and actually, thanks to Horn Leech and Drain Punch, you can recover a lot of HP. So Horn, Horn Leech, Drain Punch, together with um, Poltergeist, phenomenal coverage for any matchup. And just overall, Trevenant never really have been a bad Pokemon, there have been, but have been meta-defining things that pushed it to not be viable enough. And Golgeist, for example, which was contrasting to this Pokemon, was introduced the same generation, Generation 6, but Golgeist got the recovery and was bulkier, hence became the, you know, the copy-paste, stereotypical um, bulky grass type, much like Tangrowth, but it had the means to actually keep on at it. Trevenant had not that luxury contrast to knockoff. It, while it could be considered bulkier to fix with its means of recovery, it was always a big risk. Cool guys, heavily reliable. Then we come to Generation 7, Decidueye and Delmis carving huge niches, and uh, Trevenant was very forgettable in that generation, mainly because it just wasn't good enough to keep up. It finally, this generation has the means to carve its niche, and while it still is the lesser of the four ghost and grass types, it is this generation stronger than it ever has before, and while I would consider it somewhat undiscovered, I think the people that are using it now, using it because of its effectiveness, because it's able to do exactly what it did in generation 6 before Pokebank. It is able to stall, it's able to set up Trick Room, and it's able to outlast matchup because of this immense power in his base power moves to get with a high contrast attack. Trevenant overall, one of the best boosts this generation, and I'm very happy to see Trevenant work this generation because, like I said, it is just overall a phenomenal Pokemon. So, Pokemon, thank you so much for making this guy work again. And I really want to know what you guys are thinking about Trevenant this generation. Have you used it before? Do you remember Generation 6 moveset before Pokebag? Or just think still it's bad? I want to know exactly what you guys are thinking. So, with that said, as always, guys, thank you for watching. And have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye.